Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. And uh, uh, please invite your friends uh, and let us have a good time together sharing the truth and the truth will set you free. Today our topic is about uh, what's happening in France because this is very important. And actually what's happening in France is going to affect the rest of the world, not only in France. And uh, it's a, uh, it is something to remember. <clears throat> uh, before we start, uh, I want to say hello to everybody in the chat. I don't know. Do we have a new, new people in the chat? If you are a new person here, give us one in the text. Are you a new person? First time you join us? If you are a new person, give us one so that we can see how many new people are coming. Uh, I did not post in uh, Facebook. Uh, I was really busy. You know, I opened those, uh, the website I'm going to speak about today. Since the morning, I drink my coffee. I left them open and uh, I posted. And then I made uh, the creation for the broadcast and then I'm back. So... <clears throat> The news we are going to talk about is something I opened since the morning. I don't know what is the last update now, after two hours. But I don't think much will be changed. It's the same, but this is the most important. Oh, we have more new people here. That's good. All right. Uh, anyway, later I'm not going to... Uh, I mean, I, I, I want people to be careful, please. Uh, we receive a strike from YouTube, and then we appeal it, and... Who, the guy he was nice and the excuse is we have a bad chat which I don't understand how that happened but this is what they say so please uh, I might even you know disable the chat but I'm not going to do it today but if I notice that things is going out of control I will I will disable it we don't want to take our videos down because somebody is being uh, let us say uh, last time I remember, last time a person he says bad word, I you know I scream at him and I put him uh, off. So I don't know what uh, YouTube you know what he, what they so bad in the chat. However, it's their company, and we have to be careful. <clears throat> uh, I you know for me I don't like to take the chat down. I know most of you you enjoy it, speaking to each other, saying hello, but it is what it is. Anyway. Uh, today our topic is about France and what's happening in France which is going to impact many many countries and uh, finally you know they start naming things by its name I'm not going to take you long I'm not going to look at the chat again please watch carefully uh, what you what you say uh, if you notice my voice is not good uh, this is the only time I will respond to you in the chat <clears throat> just let me know <coughs> actually my voice is not good already I'm drinking water uh, peace be upon you thank you my friend ba Badass Scott okay that's good to know but you know what since Muslim they use it for Muhammad I don't like it no more <laughs> Because peace be upon you, it's used even for the criminals these days. Anyway, so let us see what's happening in the world. So let us open. Uh, hold on. This is. Uh, let us see which one is my voice good I hope so so if we if we go and uh, and check some websites What happened to the website I opened? Where it is? Hold on. Give me a second. Because I 
because I have them ready here and now I cannot find them. Oh boy. You believe it, the page disappeared. Where is the page? Give me a second. Unbelievable. I have them ready in the front of me. Uh, I need to find them again. I think the the, the page crash. Let us see. So let us open some uh, newspaper for you and read today. Uh, news from yesterday and today and you know the last update about this this issue the first thing you will notice that Islamic world have two kind of agenda if we go and open the page of Al Arabiya TV which is uh, the official government website of uh, or TV station of Saudi Arabia let me open it for you And this is published just yesterday, <clears throat> uh, Monday 19th. Today is Tuesday uh, 20. Uh, you will see here in the top it says, Paris attack. The Shishinian who beheaded the teacher, Samuel Patti, tweeted against Saudi Arabia. If you read all the news of Saudi Arabia, actually, you know, everybody was attacking uh, uh, Macron for he said a few days ago uh, something about fighting the Islamists in France before the beheading. If we go, we will find this. <clears throat> <clears throat> where Macaron he described that Islam is facing or religion of Islam is facing a worldwide crisis this is from you uh, France 24 this is official uh, website of France broadcast to all the world you will see here French president Emmanuel Macron uh, on Friday said his government will unveil a proposed law to fight Islamist uh, separatism. Imagine in France that you bring them as refugees or people who work for the government of France. And now they are trying or speaking of having their own Islamic state in France. Can you believe it? This is if they are, you know, we can't say they are a small number actually now. They are bigger than way before. before. But what if they are 50%? What will happen to France? I assure you, if the Mohammedan became 40%, not 50%, civil war will start in France. Uh, the French people, they are, they were asleep and they were supporting before the, the, the title or the word Islamophobic. Anyone who speak against Islam, they call him Islamophobic. And that is showing the lack of intellect and, and let us say, uh, knowing what is happening for those governments. They are so liberals and they don't want to be part, let us say, uh, of something can be uh, dangerous. They don't want to involve in something dangerous. So they avoid the danger by saying there's no danger. And
a little bit but I'm not a French speaking person French political affairs editor is here with us uh, now. And Mark, some of the um, notable parts of the bill that I picked up on there, a ban on homeschooling for children except in the cases of severe health problems, and any institution that seeks public funds will have to sign a charter uh, pledging to uphold values of secularism. They were a couple of things that stuck out for me. What, what, about, what about you? Yes, I mean, first of all, uh, before getting into the details, because yeah. it's quite a detailed uh, speech in terms of uh, policy content. I mean, he's laying out all the steps. The words are very important uh, because Emmanuel Macron has been dithering essentially on how to name things and how to address them today. See, before, there used to be, like, even they don't even dare to name things. They don't dare to say Islamic terrorism. Macron today is saying this is Islamic terrorism. Why it took us all those years to name things as it is? Why it took us all those years to know that those mosques are teaching terrorism? Why it took us all those years to know that Islamic schools need to be washed and should, should be closed, should be there's no Islamic schools because we know what they will teach there. Even the one who says to you that, oh, we are like, there is a, uh, if you go to uh, uh, Al Arabiya TV, you will find in their news where it, uh, they show you that an Imam condemned the killing of, this is in front of TV, my friend. Behind doors, all of them, they praise that. And now because they knew already France closed down any mosque, support the killing of this poor teacher, the hero. This is the news. Watch, French Imam pays tribute to teacher slain in Gorsam, Paris, beheading. Who was going to believe in this? But now because the taqiyya, you know, the whole nation is angry and they are starting deporting terrorists or those who support terrorism and they did not do it yet, but they do it by, by, by encouraging it. So all of them, they knew now that I'm not going to make a video says I support. You, you will notice a week ago how many people they were. Please guys behave in the chat because we receive uh, a message I told you, uh, we received a message from YouTube about the chat and actually uh, we appeal for a video and they said that the chat is breaking the guideline. So if I have to disable the chat, I will disable it. You know, we don't want to give them excuse to stop us from going live. So please, anytime I see the chat is going wrong, you know, refrain from saying stupid words. Uh, bad words otherwise I will stop the whole chat and then you know you can take my video right in your uh, your channel and let people chat if they wish <clears throat> so here you will see that a French Imam pays tribute this is according to who? which religion this is a religion who pray tribute for a teacher who uh, uh, you know uh, uh, post uh, cartoon of Muhammad. Is that according to Islam? No, all of us, we knew this is garbage. We, we knew that this is propaganda. Every single one who truly believe in Islam, he will be supporting the, if you are, I'm saying if you are true, true believer, you know, if you are just a Muslim by name, you might say to me, oh, I don't agree with this. You know, this is bad. This is ugly. I, I, I believe you. But you are a true believer. True believer is someone who accepts what Muhammad said. And what Muhammad said? I can go right now and search about the penalty of the one who insulted the Prophet. This is very Islamic. Approved by every single Muslim in the world. When I say single Muslim, I mean Muslims who they are Muslims. Same as I say Christian. Christian who they are Christians. Not someone he is a He's wearing you no know, cross in his chest, but he's a drug dealer. So when we say someone is a Muslim, is someone who follow exactly what his book teach, what his prophet teach, that is a Muslim. Anything else is not. And, and by the way, you will notice there's a lot of Muslims that defend Islam, but they have no idea what Islam is about. This is why, you know, from now on, I'm not going to take 
calls from uh, you know uh, Muhammadan from here and there you know he called me he says I don't want I don't accept Al Bukhari you don't accept Al Bukhari you're not a Muslim you don't you're not you can go right now search you will see there is there is tons of fatwas of the biggest scholars of Islam saying the one who don't accept the hadith he is not a Muslim he's an apostate so don't waste my time and bring to me Islam which does not exist like let us say this Imam here in front of us he is a, uh, he believe in what he's saying let us say you know let us assume the good part of his speech let us say he's decent but he's not a Muslim if he's decent if he mean it we knew that Islam order the killing of anyone disobey the prophet disobey the prophet even if you don't pray you will be killed so what about making cartoon about Muhammad if you remember once uh, there is a there is a hadith let me see if I can find it about a woman she is a slave African slave who slandered Muhammad she speak against him let's see if we can find the hadith Just to show you that this is not Islamic, you, see, you know, we can, everyone can give his own, his own opinion. Uh, everyone can say whatever he want, uh, but this is Islam. I'm not giving you opinion, theme of opinion. I don't, you know. Let us find the hadith. Here we go. Yeah, I know the screen is uh, is off. A blind man had a slave mother. Is that Sahih? First of all, this is Sahih. Because the first thing Muhammadan in their propaganda they will do, oh, this is not true. This is not authentic uh, story. Uh, we don't, it's not approved. You know, this is the garbage. Sahih in Arabic means authentic. And by the way, it, it, what make it authentic? Not because it says there the grade is Sahih. This is all garbage. This is something they added later. Alabani. You know, I, I, I know Alabani, you know, I, like, even the coward, he's, this guy, he refused to answer our questions when we asked him for a debate long time ago. Uh, so the story, <clears throat> that there is a man who is a slave, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a blind, sorry, he's a Muslim. And as usual, Muslims, they own a lot of slaves, like their prophet, and they are black. And the funny, we see somebody is black, he is a Muslim. <laughs> All right. So this, uh, this uh, man uh, who owned this slave woman, and he have kids from her, but she is still his slave, you know, he's, he, because they are allowed as a Muslim uh, to sleep and rape their their slaves a blind man had a slave mother who used to abuse the prophet again guys watch your your you know i'm, I'm i might have uh, plugged the chat anytime you know as, as i told you we receive a warning from you too a blind man had a slave mother who had you uh, uh, who used to abuse the prophet how she can abuse the prophet she is a slave i mean look how much powerful powerful she has i mean she is a slave to the point she is being raped she is owned by a man she washes dishes she take off her pants for her for him and she is abusing the prophet and he dispersed her so he told her don't do that he forbid her from but she did not stop Muhammad is a fraud he rebuked her for her. 
one night she began to slander the prophet and abuse him so you see that you now you see it's clear now what was the abuse the abuse is uh, she slandered the prophet that is the abuse do you see it what is the abuse she slandered the prophet you are abusing the prophet by slandering him okay what is the punishment so he took his dagger and he placed it in her belly and he pressed it inside her and he killed her and a child who came between her legs look at this filthy animal uh, was smeared with the blood that was there imagine the child he is being showered by the blood of his mother he was literally showered by the blood of his mother the morning came and the prophet informed about it was informed about it now the prophet he don't accept that but a prophet is a prophet of justice he assembled the people and said I adjure by Allah the man who has done his action and I adjure him by my right to him that he should stand up jumping over the necks of the people and trembling the man stood which man the blind man the one who killed the poor slave the same as this teacher he has set before the prophet and said messenger of Allah I am a master she is she used to abuse I am her master she used to abuse you and this uh, 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 disparge you uh, I forbidden her but she did not stop I rebuked her but she did not abandon her habit I have two sons from her like pearls and she was my companion hmm? she says but she's not his wife she's companion for boom boom last night she has begun abuse to abuse and disparage you so I took a dagger and put it in her belly and press it till killed her. Look what the prophet judgment is. Thereupon the prophet said, Oh, oh, be my witness. No retaliation is payable for her blood. Do you see it? Do you see it, people? No retaliation in pay able for her blood right she insulted the prophet so when they show you an imam uh, you know when we say the word imam for people who do not know imam is somebody he knew uh, let us say everything about Islam so there's no way he do not know this this guy there's no way he do not know that a person who insulted the prophet should be killed according to Islam so he was paying a tribute or tribute to the teacher according to what in which religion he is following obviously this is a false statement unless he is a false Imam and actually if you ask any Muslim that oh, I'm saying true Muslim he will say to you oh, this is a false statement this guy is just doing politics and they are trying to avoid the anger of the French people because the same as what happened in 9-11 you know everybody remember how George Bush he uh, ran to a mosque to protect the Muslims uh, from a reaction of the American anger he said Islam is peace Islam doesn't do this Muslims don't believe in this those are terrorists the story today is totally different as you see now the French people they notice that Islamic school is a network of terrorism home schools are a network of terrorism it doesn't matter what school what what mosque it is so they are trying to watch every single mosque in France which is impossible anyway you know I mean you watch them you don't watch them you might fail you might success, succeed to get some terrorist but that will not stop terrorism still France is not doing the right thing Islam should be banned totally anyone he think you see 
how come those who in France, if you deny the genocide of the of the Jews, uh, you go to jail, and you might stay dead for many years. I mean, you stay. I mean, like stay there, like I like that, you know. But if you are a Muslim making a video saying praise be to Allah this guy he was killed a person who denies something happened in the past he's not doing anything I'm just deny you know you take him to jail for many years a person is harming you today asking for the death of your citizen today trying to mute every citizen freedom of speech trying to force France to be an Islamic country what do you do about it so and now we will find a reaction from other filthy leaders in the Islamic world hypocrite ones like Erdogan Erdogan he just popped up today I think this is news today yeah oh no this is from before this is things yeah this is not October 20 Erdogan slams Macron a plan to defend France secular value a view of Islam in crisis because Macron he says Islam is in crisis Islam is in crisis since the, the first day started you see the Muslim they say to you Muslim they say to you not me that when Muhammad came and he announced himself as a prophet there was more than 360 idols around the Kaaba but Arab are not slaughtering each other because of religion you see how they exposed themselves there was no war between the Arab 360 gods different religion, 360 religion in one square the same square the Muslim now they are worshiping the black stone in 360 gods and yet everybody is peaceful Muhammad he come according to Muslims he destroy those religion he destroyed their statues and he announced jihad against anyone who don't believe in him and his God so Islam have this crisis from the first day it's a lie when we say it's a stupid when we say that this is something happened now it's always there this is what Islam is about and now this filthy guy who himself support terrorism and he himself he killed Muslims But because he have a problem with Macron for he, st he stood next to Greece he tried to eat the flesh of the poor Christians in Europe in Armenia and Macron is standing against him if Macron was a friend for him he would never dare to say anything he say about Islam Trump he said more even more Trump is he said Islam hate us do Erdogan dare to say Trump was his idiot his Coward, no. And he claimed that Macron's statement is open provocation. Uh, he is encouraging you to go and attack Macron. So if you are a terrorist, go attack him. He's provoking you. The funny is that the state of Emirat and the state of Saudi Arabia they agree. If you search right now for political Islam, you will see that. Uh, United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia are the first countries to call upon the world to fight political Islam but why is Saudi Arabia is doing that is Saudi Arabia is not Islamic no more no but because they are afraid that those Islamists they are going to make the, the royal family in Saudi Arabia and to be out of the throne the same as in Emirates All of us we knew, and I made many videos before about uh, the plan of Obama to establish an Islamic state run by the Muslim Brotherhood. And the caliphate was going to be Erdogan. And then the plan of Obama being destroyed when Saudi Arabia and Emirates 
they discover that the Muslim Brotherhood, they have a plan to take over their country. So they start arresting the Muslim Brotherhood, which is Erdogan is one of the leaders of it. Or let us say he's the main head leader for now. And uh, Qatar is the money bag for this organization. When they start their crackdown on this organization, uh, that was the point of collapsing because those are very rich countries and they have a lot of influence on in Islamic world. So now we have a war, let us say without using weapon yet, between Saudi Arabia and Emirates, and later we have the, 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 uh, the Egyptian government, which, uh, which was a revolution or let us say the fruit of revolution against the Muslim Brotherhood, if you remember. Uh, so now we have three major countries in the Middle East. When we say major, it's not about size, it's about influence, money influence. Uh, otherwise, about size, we can say, I mean, as population, the only one is big in population is Egypt. Uh, the other two, Saudi Arabia is big by size, but small by population, but they have a big influence in Islamic worlds for two reasons. They have the Kaaba. Secondly, they are very rich. So, uh, the dream of Erdogan being destroyed and many things happen against it. The Russian, they came to Syria, destroyed his dream. They wiped off ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Actually, still he is supporting Al-Qaeda in the north of Syria. But now the coward, he is withdrawing his troops from, uh, from the north of Syria, which means, you know, he is, he is in the run. Soon, uh, the Syrian regime will start attacking and taking the land from Al-Qaeda, which is protected by him. And I believe that after the election, this election, which is like two weeks from now, uh, today is October 20th, uh, I hope Trump he will win. And Trump, he will change everything against, uh, you know, against Erdogan. Actually, we can we see the fruit of change happening so fast. Uh, Trump, he was very quiet, and I think there was a reason. I think they are because they are moving their troops from Turkey. They are going to move every single, uh, you know, part of their uh, army base from Turkey uh, to to Greece and to Poland and other territory mostly to Crete, you know, most of the American soldiers will go there between Poland and Crete, uh, Crete in, in Greece. And then there is no need for Erdogan no more. Erdogan became, uh, you know, like a bug in the pant of some kids. You know, this guy is like a hyena. He want to eat from the dead meat. He's not a lion. He is a hyena. He waits for you if you are weak. And he is like a dog who want to threat you, want to bite you if you don't give him some bones. You give him a bones, he come yesterday, you know, like he leave you today, he come tomorrow, all right? So now they knew who is he, and now Erdogan is so desperate to find a solution for his economy. This is why every few weeks he come, he says, we found a new gas, we found a new gas, just wait. Two weeks from now, he will say, we found a new gas. So this gas thing, you know, it's nothing but he have gas himself. But there's no, he cannot bring, break wind because even the gas he have is fake. So in order to calm down the population, the lira is collapsing, the economy is dead. Uh, the Prince of Qatar, he is doing his best to, to the money back, trying to support the economy, but that will not work for long because it's too, way, too big collapse to be supported by a country like Qatar, even if Qatar is one of the most rich countries in the world. But they can't give all the money to Erdogan, you know, they can give some from time to time to keep him alive, to make the blood run. So, and now the issue in, in Armenia, which is going to make things more horrible, a lot of pressure now on Turkey from the Armenian. And Armenian, they are very, uh, they have a lot of influence in the world, in case you do not know, because the Turkish uh, genocide against the Armenian, that forced billions of Armenians to leave their country, which I think, Maybe there is more Armenian abroad, more than Armenian is in, 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 in the country. This is how it is. So having the huge size of Armenian, most of them, they are very successful, you know, around the world. Uh, they have a lot of influence on France and England and USA, etc. And that will bring a lot of pressure on leaders in Europe. And actually, I, I just saw in the news today 
that a French senator uh, is asking to agree that uh, the territory which is belong to Armenia to be announced an Islamic uh, sorry a state for, of Armenian uh, uh, as respond to the aggression of Erdogan. So we will see we will see a new movement. France is all of it is against this filthy man, and he is coming down sooner or later. Additional to that, you know, once I remember a Muslim in the chat, he said to me, uh, Christian Prince, you saw a dream that uh, there is a there's a big earthquake in uh, Turkey. Uh, did not happen. The funny, the Muslim, they say, I'm not I'm not a prophet. I'm not claiming to be a prophet, but I saw a dream. And maybe this dream is just a dream. Maybe it's a vision. However, the Muslim, they come to us and they say, they discover today what the prophet, he said 1400 years ago, to be true and they want my dream to come to be true in a few weeks you see the hypocrisy <laughs> what the prophet said 1400 years ago which is false it come to be true Wait, what is the dream you you know so I believe this this country is going to face a big big penalty big penalty and it's coming no matter what and Watch, and we will see. Economy will collapse. Security will collapse. Uh, 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 civil war will will, will uh, actually. Turkey already is collapsed. I mean, the country is is based on prostitution, nightclubs, and uh, drugs. I mean, there is no nothing in Turkey. What what is in Turkey? Tourism, because of Corona. Bye bye tourism. So they have nothing left. What he have? This is why Erdogan now he's trying to make the war happen in in, uh, in Azerbaijan because he's trying to sell some of the weapon they, they make in Turkey, which is a collection of weapon they buy for in Turkey, which is not really Turkish made. Chinese engine, Chinese laser, uh, Korean, uh, uh, etc. American GPS, uh, you know, they put it together, and that's supposedly an, a Turkish uh, drone. But the truth, it is not. And this is why Turkey was desperate to buy from Russia the 400 for two reasons. Because after the Turkish, they shot down one airplane of the Russian. They were terrified because the NATO would not back them up. It was their fault. And the Russian almost going, going to hit them. And Erdogan started kissing the shoes of Putin. And it was a bribe to Russia. It says, listen, we kiss your shoes. Let us make a deal. We will buy the 400. A lot of money, billions of dollars went to the pocket of the Russian just for one purpose. So Russian will let it go. And now there is no use of those 400. Actually, Turkey is being punished for buying it. And this is showing you how stupid this man. He was going to get the 35 uh, uh, airplane, the number 35 or the, 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 the model. Uh, the, the American airplane. So, American, they isolated him from the program. They allowed them even to make little parts for the airplanes. Uh, but now, Turkey is not part of it, and they cannot receive the airplane, period. So what he got from the 400, nothing. He cannot even use it. He cannot activate it. He cannot use it out of Turkey without permission from Russia. So the money, and I'm sure Putin, he will be happy to send him more of it, you know, if he need, because, well, you know, there's there's no harm for him, the Russian, those those weapon. When countries sell weapon to 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 uh, abroad countries, they don't sell weapon which is uh, can destroy them. They sell weapon less like uh, so. If American, they have American army have the same airplanes, but it's not going to be the same. Turkey will have, you know what I mean? Is going to be way less in power. Why? Because they want to be sure that if we give them airplane, airplane cannot be equal to our airplane. We have to be always the top in power. So all this money he you know he spent it, which he can support his economy with, especially today, is gone for nothing and bringing a lot of chaos to his country. If we go to more. <clears throat> Maybe I should go soon. My my throat <clears> is dry. If we go here to continue on our topic, we spoke too much about Turkey, but good to explain. And you don't have to agree with me. I see some people don't agree, but who care? 
I mean, you agree or not, tomorrow news will show up and we will see who is saying everything I see. just Just a few days ago, in a video, if you remember, I said Erdogan will come and say, we found gas. Do you remember? He did it just yesterday. We found gas. <laughs> and he will do it again next month. <laughs> and there's no gas. Uh, here it says, the news. Uh, this is 23 hours ago. Uh, according to the web page, I don't know, I mean... Uh, I have this page open actually for a while, so I did not refresh. Anyway, uh, Samuel Paty murder, uh, French policy right dozen of Islamic mosque and Islamic houses. You know, I, I did search for those news and I opened them ready uh, since the morning. Uh, because I want, it is, I want to find out how, how the media is covering uh, the issue. You know, this, this uh, what's happening? If there's anyone is attacking France, is there's any, you know, you will notice here there's a lot of silence. I mean, they are reporting, but they are not saying something like, if a, if a Trump, he is the one who say, Islamist, uh, uh, Islam is uh, uh, facing, uh, let us say, crisis around the world. Everybody will be all over Trump. But Macron is not considered like the same as Trump. They cannot say he is a conservative. They cannot say he is a Christian. You know, and some people there now in the chat, they will say, Be Trump is not a Christian. I don't care. God knows what is in the heart of the man. Maybe he was a loser when he was a, uh, young, but all of us, we used to be something wrong when we were younger. And when we grow, we became wiser and a human being, they change. Paul himself, I'm not going to compare between Paul and Trump, no, but Paul himself used to go after Christians because he hated them to death. So I'm, I'm going to judge Paul in the years he lived, hating Christianity, or judge Paul by his fruit after he became a Christian. So we don't want to you know, go over Trump, say he is a Christian or not, but I know he is hiring Christian judges. He is supporting the court in the Supreme Court with the Christian judges. And I am so amazed with this woman he chose. This is the best smart women ever. And by the way, this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud again. If you go and watch the interview of this woman, uh, let me see if I can find, I suppose he will go for 15 minutes. Uh, see how, my, how short my video. Let us see. You know the the uh, Democrat. They are trying their best to take this woman down because simply she is a Christian. That's bad. That's bad. You know, she is against abortion. That's horrible. You know. I saw this, uh, you know, I saw her speaking, and I'm, I'm going to show you, and I'm not going to play the video, you can watch it yourself. One of the Democrat leaders, he was trying to find out what, she, what, what the, the notebook in the front of her, what she have there. You see, they are looking for anything to be negative. Maybe she wrote something against them. Maybe she said, uh, maybe she wrote a note, this guy is a donkey, you know. So he asked her, uh, by the way, uh, the notebook in the front of you, because her, her answer is, is really astonishing. I mean, this woman, as if she knew the questions. Remember, those are the ones who will net, they are, they are doing their best to let her go. Go home, we don't want you. So this guy, he said to her, yeah, by the way, the, the notes, the notebook in the front of you, what, what you have there? 
you know, because we're expecting they have ready answers. She worked hard, spent a lot of time writing, preparing herself for any kind of answer or question. And then she got him busted. She opened, she showed him the, you know, she did not, she did not even use it. It's a blank. She said the only letters there, it says United States in it, which is the title, you know, the, for the print. And then he himself, he said, this is astonishing. He himself, the Democrat, he could not believe that this woman giving answers in a very sharp, very sharp answers, as if um, um, it's amazing. And remember here where Muhammad, he said that women are half a brain. This women have a brain of a hundred men. She's a mother of seven kids, seven kids. And the reason she has seven kids, she is a conservative Christian. If you are a Christian and you are taking bills to stop yourself from having kids, if you are a female, you are doing very wrong thing. Kids are a gift from the Lord. And you should not do that. Seven kids, yet she is a very successful judge very powerful in his decisions, very straightforward, extremely smart. She run a court and she run a house full of kids. And here you will see some people, they say women are just good for kitchen. Well, she is good in the kitchen and she cook you in the court. <laughs> And soon she will be touched for the Supreme Court and let the Democrat have fun. So, you know, uh, uh, we were talking about Trump. That's why we end here. So for me, what I care for Trump is what he do, not who he is. Because no one knows who is he, save God. I will leave that to God. For now, what I know, he's hiring, he, he's hiring, he is doing things, many of them we approve, not everything. You know, not everything, but we never have actually a president. He can be approved by Christians. Anyone who claims to be Christian, by the way, he's against Trump, he's a fool. Because you are supporting Democrats who support abortion. That's make you a false Christian. I mean, I'm not going to account for you how many things Democrats support, which is against the Bible. You know the list. Endless. Actually, everything they stand for is against the Bible. Everything. Democrats are war mongers. They want to bomb Syria. They want to bomb. They want to bomb everybody. Why? Because they run under the influence of the war industry, which is a huge industry in USA. Trump, he want to pull out the troops. This is why they hate him. This is why you see a general speaking against him. Many of those people, many people here do not know that if you are a general in USA, uh, especially retired generals, most of them, they establish a, 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 like a company have to do with the army, contractor company. Like let's say they hire uh, whatever can, whatever the army need. The army asks the general who is used to be a general, he is retired now. It's like a mafia, you know, like, okay, you are out of the army, I am inside the army. So now we will give you a contract and the contract is like $500 million. So if you don't do war, those contracts will not exist. If we have a lot of an emission and there's no war, how we are going to order new an emission? In the time of Obama, the Pentagon announced that we are out of an emission. Can you believe it? And the Democrat is the one to say that they are for peace. In the time of Obama, uh, I don't want to change the topic. I mean, this is my video, a short video. I hate myself. <laughs> I'm not looking at any chat or anything. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm avoiding any chat so I don't uh, make it longer. Uh, do you remember the...
the cages, which is supposedly the immigration in USA, they put the immigrant, the children, they put it in its inside, they, according to what uh, in the news saying. Those cages are made by Obama for the children. There's a guy, his name is uh, Jimmy Dore. I forgot the name really of the, of the video. He exposed him. He is not a, you know, this guy is, is sometimes he say things which is not true too. But he showed the, you know, the proof of it. That all those cages, maybe this is the, maybe this is the video, I don't know. Or what Obama got away with. You can watch it. The cages, the ban of Islamic countries, all those things they accuse of Trump with it. It all of it. Nobody talk. It's okay. Putting children in the in a in a separate them from their family. It was done by Obama, not by Trump. And now they are saying Trump. If Obama do it, it's okay. We are out of animation in the time of Obama, which means the army was shooting nonstop everywhere. It's okay. Making hundreds of millions of dollars. And now we found that the, the story of Joe Biden, you know, our topic is going all over the place. But as you see, all of them, uh, they are hypocrite and those are the one who keep talking about Islamophobia and etc because they don't want to share the truth with you Trump he said Islam hate us but how Trump he says that he should not say that he's a politician but he's saying what he what he, he believes is true this guy is like a child and this is why I like I like about him sometimes he make me upset because he's a child he say things he should not say you know like you know uh, uh, I mean sometimes he say things should be smarter right because you know there's enemies waiting for you to rip you apart but still he throw it as it is they write a script for him to read it when he go like on uh, like uh, life uh, life speech but he don't read it they go way out of the script the same as I do now I never have a script anyway so anyway going back to our topic Things is a changing. France shut down dozens of mosques and Islamic schools this year. What about the rest? The rest now, they will be very careful. Macron, he promised, Islamists will not sleep peacefully, uh, which means he will be keeping cracking down on them. They are watching them carefully. Now we can watch millions. I don't know. That's mission impossible. I'm assuming what he is saying, I will watch the most aggressive one. What about the rest? So I wish France a good luck. I hope they will be able to fix their deep trouble. I hope the French people, they will support their president. And I hope uh, they will learn better about the cult of Islam. If you are a French person, you can get my book, which is in the French. My book is translated in many languages. I'm not done yet, by the way. I'm playing just the, so they can see the books. This is the intro of our video, but I'm not done. Uh, my book in the French is very good. Translation is amazing. Uh, the translator did a lot of great work, as you see, the secret of Prophet Arab. 
so if you are a French person and you are interested to know about the faith of Islam, feel free and get my books from Amazon. And in France, go to Amazon France and you will get the book for free. I mean the shipping for free. So uh, this is the update about France. And uh, actually I open many websites uh, since the morning. I like in the morning, I drink my coffee. I open them, I leave them here uh, because I was going to cover all of them, but we went uh, we went all over the place, you know, from Trump to the court, etc. So that was time consuming. Uh, so we will leave maybe the rest uh, for a new video. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, I apologize for ignoring your uh, your chat. For those who they are saying hello and those who don't like me, which is there's a lot of them. Uh, I might be back later at, uh, uh, afternoon. It's already actually, I mean, it's already uh, almost afternoon. Uh, but uh, I will be back maybe if I can. Um, maybe afternoon. When I say afternoon, what does that mean? I mean, no, I think it's going to be night time if it's, uh, it's uh, because that will not give me a break even for a few hours. So if I can come back, I will be back at night maybe. If not, I hope maybe tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, join us always subscribe tell your friends and this is your humble Christian uh, friend a friend and brother you know actually I have a family here many people who really they consider me as a family and I consider them as a family I receive emails from people you know like uh, after I finish uh, Christian Prince uh, uh, take honey a uh, drink etc you know I'm unbelievable you know a lot of people they show that they, they really care for me it's for me it's hard to read all the emails but a lot of people they they really care and I really appreciate those people uh, they care for my health they care for how I'm doing and you know God is good everything is beautiful amazing and what we will work for many many years it's happening you can say the mission is in a good direction and by the help of the Muslims because you see if they don't do what I claim is going to happen then I am making a false claim. Everything I said, if you read my book, Deception of Allah, everything I said in my book, it's happening today. In my book, I said, what if, what if they took over your country? What will happen? And here we go. Macron is speaking about Islamists trying to take over the country. It might be, you know, like strange to say such a statement, take over my country, I live in France, what are you talking about? That will never happen. Surprisingly, now my neighbors are very quiet today. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the only thing I hear outside is the birds. All right. Uh, so, France and the uh the separate that they have a that they have a bill a law i mean you need a law you are, you are in the point where you need a law to fight it that's mean it's a huge and this is exactly what i said in my books time will come and you will suffer they will try to take over your country and they will try to practice sharia law on you and slaughtering this hero, the teacher, and hold on, I did not do what I should do. What I should do? Give me a second. We said we are going uh, to show cartoon to support this teacher, and we did not do. Here we go. We have to support. You are supporting that teacher. You are supporting yourself. Because the whole point of all what happened is you getting scared and you don't open your mouth. Don't talk about Muhammad. Don't expose his garbage. 
If you do, we will come after you. But if every one of us doing that, they cannot come after all of us. But if it's only one individual, then they can do that. And actually yesterday I heard the news of a three uh, French women, brave women, they were going in the street putting a post of Mohammed Khartoum in every street in France, three only. Should we have 3,000, 3 million doing that? The police of France arrested them, but not because they are putting the post, you know, it's not because of the post itself, but because they are putting the post uh, in over walls, which is considered uh, historic, like a museum or, you know, be careful when you do something, do it legally. If you live in France and you want to put the post of Mohammed, the government, they cannot arrest you. Actually, they are fighting those who they are who attack you. But you have to do it in the right way. You don't go to a stop sign of a bus and you put a post there because simply those posts are for those who pay. You can pay for it, post it everywhere. Make it legal. There's a place for post. Don't do savage, you know, post like a putting a, putting pictures of somebody over a property. Like you don't do that over my wall. That's not right. So there's a place to post. So those women, they were arrested, not because they were posting pictures of Muhammad, but because they were posting in the wrong place, you know, and they are using a, a very uh, like sticky glue so nobody can take it off. Uh, so they, they release them, you know, they just uh, give them a ticket and they will make them pay a fine to clean this, uh, uh, this mess they did. So I support those women. Those women are very, very, very brave. And I, you know, we need, uh, we need more of them but please do it in the right place, in the right time. With this, I wanna say thank you guys for being here. I think our time is up. A great time to be with you. And I noticed that the more I ignore the chat, the more things can go easy for me because sometimes the chat, uh, you know, make me upset and angry and, you know, just forget about the chat. And as you see, uh, YouTube is, is sending us, uh, you know, uh, they took uh, one of my videos down. We got a strike because of the chat. And I appeal, but they, you know, they gave a warning that we should maintain the chat, and I might, I might disable it in a future broadcast. And then you can take my video, and you can broadcast, you know, uh, in your channel if you want. Play it. People chat about it. Have fun. Just play it. You know, you can do that. Why not? Get more a crowd in your channel, and more people watch it. People who were not here today, you know, download my videos. Put it in your, uh, or, or run it, you know. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, may the Lord bless you all. And until we see you again soon, maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight, maybe a few days from now. Until then, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you very much for being here with us. Take care. And God bless.